Hi. So I've been asked to kind of give a little bit of an identification of what my diagnoses are because I mentioned that I have them. So I'm Celeste Kirby and I don't work because of these diagnoses. So I make YouTube videos all day. Hmm. We'll start with the earliest one, endometriosis. That's when the uterus lining is on the outside of the uterus instead of the inside and it's really painful. So I've been mitigating the pain with that for 20 years with birth control. I had a hysterectomy to get rid of it, but it turns out that it was in the tissue and not the uterus. So I still have the endometriosis. So I have a cute little rod in my arm that my doctor assures me is not a government tracker device, but of course the doctor would say that. Okay, so then there was the sciatica. That's when the sciatic nerve is pinched, and it's often either on the left or the right side. Mine is both, so my lower back and my legs are often in a lot of pain. For years, I ignored it and continued to lift heavy stuff anyway, and after a long time, I got smart about it, and when I would help people move with my truck, I would be like, I am just the truck. Okay, I'm not going to pack your stuff and I'm not going to move your stuff. And they'd be like, it's okay, you don't have to because you're a girl. And I'm like, no, I, I don't want to play the girl card. I want to play the sciatica card. But no one would let me play the sciatica card. They let me get out of lifting their shit because I'm female. Come on, man, that's bullshit. If I were a dude with a truck in sciatica, guess what? I wouldn't help you move because <laughs> you wouldn't let me get out of lifting heavy stuff. So... I wouldn't. But anyway, there's that. Then there's um, multiple sclerosis, which is the big one that stopped me from walking and stopped me from working. It sort of hit suddenly, but I must have had it for years because you don't suddenly stop walking at 35, which I did. I didn't wake up and stop walking. I went out to lunch with my niece and nephew and couldn't walk back to the truck. It was really painful. Fell a few times. I'd been walking off balance since a car accident eight months prior. So I thought this was more of the same, but the off balance had, didn't have the ex exorbitant pain. I mean, I had pain. I've had pain forever. So, yeah, sciatica, right? Then about a year later, I'm told I also have fibromyalgia, which now to be honest, because I have both, I can't really separate them. I only can kind of separate them from what I see on my MS support groups and my fibro support groups on Facebook. When my leg feels like it's on fire, that is a fibro flare up. When my lower back just kills and movement absolutely hurts, that's an MS flare-up. The problem is, even though they're both remitting, they haven't really remit at the same time. So I'm pretty much constantly in pain. So that's fun. Then the next diagnosis was scoliosis, which is where the spine is curved. So that's awesome. But I'm supposed to be getting a new wheelchair soon, which will have better lumbar support. So that'll be better. So those are the big things that keep me from working. And I'll stop whining about how I have nothing to do. Because my friends try to be helpful and I feel like they're nagging. And the truth is they can't help me because anything I'm able to do I'm already trying I can't work full time I literally can only work for two hours at a time now and that's like the most I could do if I sit up upright for more than two hours I'm in a lot of pain my brain doesn't really function for more than that long because 
both MS and fibro give you what's called a brain fog where you forget a lot of words and forget what you're doing and you forget a lot of things which would lead into my mental diagnoses but we don't need to discuss those those are fun but between forgetting a lot of things and having a lot of pain I'm not going to be employee of the month anytime soon so I appreciate my friends trying to help but really there's there's nothing they can do unless they work at a university and can get my foot in the door to teach communications again because I have a master's I taught public speaking for one term and I loved it and I would love to do it again but they had to replace me because I spent the next year living in a nursing home so I get it I get it that they don't really have enough work for me again so anyone who wants to help me if you work at a university if you can get my foot in the door to teach public speaking again and it's only a couple hours a week like two hours at a time then you can be helpful otherwise just be my friend that's really all that you can do because my body is limited my mind is limited and a part of me wants to apologize because it affects you too but a part of me doesn't because it's not my fault. <laughs>